Today I have a brand new thing. Um, you might have seen me talk about it. But before I get into that, I have a few updates. I wrote an article on the little changes that I've made. Nothing big or hurrah about it, just little improvements that I've made to the channel. And I'll post a link to my article down in the description below. Um, so today has been a really good day. Um, I got my item. It, it's down here. So I can't wait to show that to you guys. But. I also went on a little mini haul and I wanted to kind of record the experience but it didn't go so well so you know I'll just show you guys what I got now. So what I do have, I have this Barnett Bundle Brights, this right here, and I'm going to use it, I'm going to use this for a rug as you guys may know I have a thing with the yellow gray and black or yellow gray and white. Um, color scheme and that's how my room is set up now as you can see my gray walls um, so I'm excited about that as stated in my little article that I wrote I also have plans to make a lot of projects and pardon me a lot of patterns next year so to start out my designing process I got some more fisherman's wool I still have some way up there somewhere but it's not the right kind. This is perfect. So I'm going to be using this. I got two skeins of it. Um, of course I went to Joann's today. You know, it's Joann's haul. So I'm going to be using this fisherman's wool for this winter project. It's going to be great. I mean, who uses fisherman's wool for winter? But anyway. And what else did I get? I got this. I got a skein of this. Or not a skein. I got a cake of... Um, called Roll With It Tweed. It's a red heart yarn. And, you know, I don't know what I want to do with it, but it's so bright, it's so beautiful, and I thought that it would go really well with those colors back there. So, yeah. I'm really, really fascinated by this color. I'm not sponsored in any way. I'm just looking at the yardage on it. I have... Hmm. I don't see it right now. I don't see it right now. Oh, there it is. I have 296 yards. So, I can't wait to see what I'm going to make with this. Maybe a cowl or something. Maybe I'll design a cowl. I wasn't expecting to, but that might be in the future. So, I'm going to set that aside. I also got this big plan book because, as you guys know, or may not know, I am like an organization freak, and your girl really needed one of these super thick much needed. It was on clearance, so I got it. Finally. Ugh. So I look forward to customizing my year. Um, I don't know. Maybe next year I'll start using it. I don't know. I have so many planners and I feel compelled to use them all, but in reality I will probably just stick to the one. So I'm going to move. I'm going to move all my yarn and stuff to the side and then I'm going to pan down for you guys to do the big reveal. Okay, so these unboxings in my craft corner are always so awkward. But anywho, I I got a box. I got a big box. And okay, so I'm gonna give a little context to this. So you guys know how every year I like to do my basically winter wear drive. I like to donate my handmade goods to charity and you know it's really fun seeing my creations around town in the fall and winter time and just knowing who all you've blessed and all that it's just it's rewarding so you know it's already July and last year I came up with mm, was it 83 I forget 80 80 something items to give out and I like I loved it. I loved it. I had never done a haul that big. Um, but now I feel compelled to keep up with that. So, you know, to help that along. And if you guys can tell, I bought I bought this. I bought this thing. So, you know, let's talk about it. <laughs> I bought my very first knitting machine. And this one I've been doing my research on it now. I've done my research on it, um, 
and as far as I have seen, this this guy right here, I don't know if I can zoom out some, can I? No, probably not. This guy right here, he um, it's about the best that you can get, um, aside from an Addy. Uh, if I would have gotten Addy, it would have been... The one I was looking at was like two, almost $200 for the king size or is it like 280 for the king size and it's like 119 for the smaller size i don't know what the professional size costs but um yeah i can't afford that <laughs> that student life so what i wanted to do was get something that i can test i can test out and kind of have an experience with knitting machines if i like it then later on i will invest in an addy because i kind of wanted to get one some years ago and something told me to just be like no don't don't do it so you know there's nothing wrong with testing stuff out first so what I'm gonna do once I get my exacto blade to cooperate you guys watch my struggle I am going to just saw through this now a lot of the reviews and videos that I watched regarding this machine you know a lot of people well not a lot of people but some people had um, issues with the box being bent up and damaged and having cracked pieces but my box you guys saw me pull it out of the thing it looks pretty darn good so first impression I am wowed so I know this thing will come with yarn like a darning needle crochet hook and I'm gonna test out that cro crochet hook I don't think you can actually crochet with it but I think it's for just picking up um, drop stitches and that's another thing that I was hearing that sometimes these off-brand these off-brand um, knitting machines can drop your stitches, but I think that's all in, you know, working with the right yarn for the machine. I'm not trying to do anything particularly drastic with it. Of course, you guys know my go-to favorite yarn is Red Heart. No, I'm not sponsored, but hey, hit me up. Um, my absolute favorite yarn to work with is Red Heart yarns, so I don't think I'll have a problem with it. my instructions because I'm giddy and I am going to let me see cool okay so do, 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 do. so I guess centros are um Japanese I guess they're a Japanese knitting machine which is cool now for the other side it's in English okay so this is not going to tell me how to put this together. I see this. But I'm going to look at this picture and it'll be okay. It'll be a-okay. So what I'm going to do here is find my legs and then I'm going to I suppose they just they snap in. snap in me.
but it seemed like to me if like they were gonna have these things set for specific holes that they would um, tell you but hey not my product I'm just gonna like face that down and open up this bag with my tiny screws Ooh, and it has a pull tab praise the Lord okay so I am going to just do that I feel like this is going to end up like my um, Christmas unboxing that I did and the plastic opening was louder than my voice. <laughs> Throwback Thursday. Okay, no. Um, okay. Yes, magnetic screws for the win. difficult to get on but one thing's for sure they're never coming off like I will never take these off or try to um, so the last part that I have to put together would be this tension thing <laughs> I've heard it called many things um, and I know it snaps on in the front of this machine so is it Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. So, that was, that was really easy. That was like, what, 10 minutes to put it together? And it's all shiny and new. So, um, let's see. Cool beans. I got it together. We have a row counter over here, which is analog. And so, you know, one of the review videos I watched regarding knitting machines is that sometimes with, like, the Addy and the electric row counters and stuff, they, um, the static in the row counters can cause inaccuracy in the numbers, so I'm glad this is analog. That is, like, that's the best thing. I have used a row counter before when knitting and when crocheting. I don't use them very often, but considering, considering I... We'll be making mostly hats and stuff. I don't know if I'll necessarily need to use it. Um, unless I'm following somebody's pattern. In which case. Uh, yeah. I'll be, I'll be using it. But anyway. That's just me and my crafting. So my tension. Uh, this tension creator thing. I guess I can hold it down. Okay. This tension thing. So the closest one to it. I suppose is for like thinner weight yarns um, or f and for tighter tension. This center one is a, I don't know if you guys can see these holes. The hole is a little bit bigger so I'm going to assume that's for like medium tension. And then this last one over here is for your looser tension. So that's cool. And it would face towards me. Now there's a setting. Um, there's T. 
I don't know if you guys can see this. There is a T and a P over here. Probably can't see it. Can you see it? I don't know. Probably not. There's a T and a P. So the T stands for tube knitting and the P stands for flat panel knitting. So with that, you know, that's doable. It's easily understood. That much I remember, retained, and gathered. Um, okay, so now that I have it all set up, I got it down here. I got my yarn, or the center of my yarn. I found the center of my skein, <laughs> and so I'm going to follow the instructions. Now, it says to first kind of crank the machine so I can get a feel from it. And I also know it said something about rotating it away from me and I'm doing that and this is working and it wants me to do that until that white needle is right here so I'm going to keep doing that and there it is and it's in the upward position so okay <clears throat> my first set of instructions say <laughs> to feed about 30 centimeters of yarn through the center of the machine. That's about 12 inches. I'm guesstimating. <laughs> and it then wants me to, oh my gosh, it then wants me to crank the handle. Okay, I got the white hook. It wants me to feed the yarn. Okay, and I'm supposed to hook my yarn underneath this white needle. And it says to slowly turn the crank away from me. I need to thread the yarn slowly onto every other hook as it rises, passing front and back alternatively. So, don't laugh at me if I fail, guys. I'm going to... Oh my gosh, how do I do this? This is, this is gonna be interesting. I hope I'm doing this right.
So this is coming out really well. Let me just move my leg. This is coming out really, really nicely. Um, I think. Don't quote me on this. But it seems to be in proper working order. Um, I will say that this yarn does pop out of the little tension thingy really, really easily. So, you know, just keep an eye on your yarn if you get one of these. I think I might have, I don't know, I think I screwed up somewhere. But I will most definitely let you guys see the product of this video when I am done with it. I don't have all the sticking that people seem to have. I think I dropped a stitch, gosh. But anyway, um, this works very smoothly. I've seen where people um, have said they've been able to crank out hats in like 30 minutes or so with using this thing, so I look forward to doing that eventually. Now, I'm getting to a point where I think I dropped some stitches, so I'm going to try to fix this, guys. Um, <laughs> thanks for tuning in and uh, watching me struggle. You know, struggle is real. Instructions are hard. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below. I don't mind showing you guys the different things that I try out and buy. And check out my social media probably for these, uh, these end results, you know. Probably on Instagram mostly, maybe on Facebook. I do have a Facebook page. All of that is linked in my description down below. And until next time, y'all, happy making. All right, guys, no, no filters, no lighting. This is the hat that I was able to produce from the knitting machine that I just got. It's not too bad uh, camera wise. I, I, your girl screwed up a little bit, but I think I was able to salvage it enough to like be proud of this. I'm really happy. So I will be, whoa, not falling down, but I will be making many more accessories with this machine. So if you guys don't hear from me for a few days, you'll know I am just like killing my stash, which I seriously, seriously need to do. But, all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed my video today if so go ahead leave me a thumbs up leave me some comments down below i want to hear your opinions and have hold conversations and stuff go ahead and check out my other social media and until next time guys happy making